welcome to yet one more math video. Yes, as we push our way through, looks like chapter one, lesson 1.2. Look at our topic of the day. It's place value of whole numbers. Okay, continuing on from 1.1 when we were looking at that place value. Now we're looking at place value of whole numbers. What's our learning target, my friends? Yes, it's our essential question. And it says, how do you read, write, and represent whole numbers through 100 millions? Whoo, those are some big numbers. They are. Hey, <laughs> but we're so ready, aren't we? We are. But first, before we can do any of that, we have to unlock the problem. That's right, my friends. It's real world, baby. Real world. Real world. Okay. So here we go. It says the diameter of the sun is 1,392,000 kilometers. Whoa. To understand this distance, you need to understand the place value of each digit in 1,392,000. Now it says a place value chart contains periods. In numbers, a period is a group of three digits separated by commas in a multi-digit number. <laughs> it's kind of funny, huh? It's separated by commas, but we call it a period. Yes, so don't be confused. A period is kind of like that group. A period of time, we kind of think of it. Well, this three digits, okay, separated by commas, is a period. Cool. The millions period is left of the thousands period. One million is one thousand thousands and is written as one million. One comma zero 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 comma zero zero zero. Okay. Woo, that was a mouthful. Okay, let's move down to our chart. So here we have our periods. I see we have the millions, the thousands, the ones. Okay, I'm getting that overarching kind of look at it. And then underneath each one, notice in the millions, you have hundreds, tens, and ones. Thousands, you have hundred, tens, and ones. And under ones, you have hundred, tens, and ones. Ah, I see. And if we go from left to right, it's just ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Then that's when we get in the 10,000, 100,000, million, 10 million, 100 million. Okay, I think I get it. Now it does say the place value of the digit one in 1,392,000 is millions. The value of one in 1,392,000 is one times one million, which is equal to one million. And you can see the numbers displayed. Now we have a standard form that shows that how we normally write the number, which is the one comma, 392 comma 000. That's the standard form. It's the form that we're going to write it. But we also have something called the word form. And you can probably guess by just hearing word form that has to do with. That's right, words. Yes. Okay, 1 million. And look at, we have that comma. 392,000. And that's how we write it. And keep in mind, we always put a little hyphen. See it there? Yeah. That little hyphen in there lets us know that we're going from a tens to a ones place. So we always hyphenate. Whenever we say 25, 26, 27, 33, all those that are tens to uh, ones, okay? And then we have expanded form. And expanded form literally means what, it, what the, it suggests. Expanded means to make larger, right? Almost to make longer. When we expand, we make it almost like longer. We stretch it out. And there you can see we have one times one million, which is the place that the one is in, plus then we put three times 100,000, again, the digit three is in the 100,000 place. So we put three times 100,000 plus nine times. And of course, the nine is in the 10,000th place. Pretty self-explanatory, no, don't you think? And what, here, what do we have here? It says the math idea. When writing a number in expanded form, if no digits appear in a place value, it is not necessary to include them in the expression. And we can actually look at that by simply look at that very last one where we had two times 1,000. Yeah, we didn't write anything for the hundreds, the tens, and the ones place because the digits were zero. So that's what that little math idea means. Okay, now we have try this. It says use place value to read and write numbers. Cool. So we have a standard form of a number, 582,030. Now we write the word form, 582. Right, we need to get the word 1,000 in there. And then we have 30. And we don't write anything for that hundreds place because there's just nothing in there. Okay, now expanded form. Five times 100,000 plus, now look at the next place value. We're going to be going into the 10,000th place. So we're definitely going to put the digit that's there, which is the eight. So we put eight times 10,000. The two times 1,000 is already there. Now, the next place value is hundreds, but we don't have anything there, so we ignore that. But we do look at the three, and the three is in the, that's right, the tens place. So we just simply put 
10 because that three digit times the 10 is going to give us the 30. The average distance from Jupiter to the Sun is 483,600,000 miles. <laughs> Yeah, that's just a little bit of ways. Huh? Now it says write the number that shows this distance in miles. And I'm assuming they mean standard form. They didn't say that. They should say write the number in standard form that shows this distance in miles. Okay, but I will do that. So 400, 483 million. So 483 million. That million lets me know, comma. And it has a comma there too. 600,000 miles. So 600 thousand and then I can't just leave it like that so I have to put on my three zero six hundred thousand miles woohoo yeah yeah time to go to the next page okay now we have whoa look at that big globe Canada Iceland okay very cool Canada's land area is about four million square miles Iceland has a land area of about 40,000 square miles compare the two areas Okay, well, right away we can see that Canada's land area is a lot more than Iceland. Example one says use a place value chart. It says write the numbers in a place value chart. Let's do that. Well, the first number that we had was 4 million. So I come to the 4 million. I can tell I'm going to put the 4 right here because just like that we have million. And because there aren't any other digits mentioned, just 4 million, I'm going to simply put zeros in all those places. I can't leave those blank. And then the land area for Iceland was just a little 40,000. Here's my tens for 40 right here, 40,000. And then I put them in the place value chart. Now it's so a step two, count the number of whole number place value positions. It's like 4 million has blank more whole number places than 40,000. And to me, I would say there's two because we don't have any in the 100,000 place nor in the millions. So we'd have two more whole number places than 40,000. Think two more places times, I'm sorry, two more places is 10 times 10 or 100. So 4 million then is 100 times as much as 40,000. So Canada's estimated land area is 100 times as much as Iceland's estimated land area. Okay, now we move on to you can use place value patterns to rename a number. Okay, example two, use place value patterns. Okay, rename 40,000 using other place values. So we could say that 40,000 here is the same as four ten thousands. Okay, that's true. That's like renaming it means the same thing. And four times 10,000. This is like what we did for expanded form. And that's true too. So now we come over here, 40,000. Well, that's going to be 40 thousandths. Okay, because we would need 40 thousandths and that would be true. Here we had four ten thousands, but here, because we don't have a zero in the thousands place, we would say that there are 40 thousandths. And then over here, we're gonna have 40 times 1,000. Now here, look at the place value here. Now we, it's completely blank. It's including all of these, including the hundreds. So in this case, I would say I have 400 because they have the blue highlighted and that's going to be hundreds because if you look at that very last highlighted blue right there, you can see that it goes to the hundreds, kind of sloppy there. And then our number here then is going to be 400 times 100. If you think about that, how that's the same, that might be kind of confusing for you, but 400 times 100, well, I have two powers of 10 here. So if we had 400 and then two more powers of 10, we add on. Now, what number do we have? That's right, 40,000. Woo -hoo. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, that music comes in so quick. It's another video. Yes, come and tune in, my friends. Hey, I know we all just, all just want to cry. No. You know what? There's more videos coming. I'm glad you come here and visit my channel and watch these math videos. Now, as always, live long and prosper.